The chances are that if you've clicked a link while browsing through the internet, you've probably been inadvertently led to the 80s superstar Rick Astley's never gonna give you up as a prank. Memes like this are an unavoidable aspect of internet culture. These small pieces of cultural information and ideas often present themselves in humorous images and videos, but their undertones highlight specific cultural beliefs and topic viewpoints. They began on niche message boards, but with the rise of social media, began to spread to larger platforms and forums such as Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They are often posted by anonymous users and seem to almost randomly pick up steam. Some snowball at such accelerated rates that they can even become viral sensations. Nowhere is this effect more prominent than in the music industry. Artists like Rebecca Black owe much of her success to memes. Her 2011 hit Friday only went viral after humorous parodies and mocks of her video. It's no surprise then that with the enormous impact of memes, other artists have begun to incorporate their popularity into their music. Some have even gone as far as releasing songs titled after popular memes. Harambe, the track released off of Young Thug's 2016 album Jeffrey, was a record named after the killing of the Cincinnati Zoo Gorilla, whose unfortunate death created a viral meme of his headshot. Some other rappers like 21 Savage have benefited by the spontaneous and random nature of internet culture. In July 2016, 21 Savage was interviewed by DJ Vlad to talk about his recent appearance on the 2016 XXL freshman cover. What does the cross on your forehead signify? It's a knife. That answer spawned countless memes, which in turn inspired 21 Savage's 2017 album, It's a Album. By this point, the benefit of viral marketing via memes was starting to become evident, but none were perhaps as big a success as Drake's 2016 smash hit, Hotline Bling. The iconic video featured Drake's dad dance, and the internet went wild. The video spawned countless vines and memes making fun of the dance, which helped to garner the video over 1 billion views and even an appearance on SNL. He then followed this up by an even more meme-worthy album cover on views. Not long after Drake's cultural dominance, other rappers like the Migos and Ray Schremer began using memes in hope of achieving their similar success. The hashtag mannequin challenge even helped push Ray Schremer's Black Beatles to number one on the Hot 100. But sometimes the meme creates the artist. On September 2016, a 13-year-old Danielle Brigoli appeared on the Dr. Phil show where she squared off against Dr. Phil and his whole audience. Afterwards, her infamous interview went viral. She used her new fame not only to begin her rap career, but to also sign to a major label under the moniker Bad Baby. After the major label deal of Bad Baby, hip hop artists started to follow suit, hoping to achieve the same viral success, molding their whole identity around memes and in turn creating a whole new subgenre of hip hop. Artists like Ugly God have even embraced this moniker of meme rapper and acknowledged the absurdity in his music. My music is trash, he told Pigeons and Planes. I'm off topic. I say random shit, and it's just vulgar trash. I'm rapping about shit that's not supposed to be heard by children. Trash. The internet craves content. When most people on earth linked up to billions of other people at any given time, the environment creates a giant pool of users' attention begging to be filled. As long as we're connected and tuning in, there will always be people competing for our attention. So what does the future hold for memes and hip hop? Well, with the millions of images and videos constantly being uploaded in search of viral sensation, one thing is for sure. Only the true absurd or unique will ever have any chance of cutting through with the noise. What's your favorite meme? And when you look back, what did it inspire or what was inspired by it? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and follow All Things All Dev Music. For The Report, I'm Jay Taj. What up squad, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching All Dev Music.